Hello everyone. Um, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina. Uh, I decided to uh, start a new uh, playlist from the screen. You can see uh, we are, um, I will introduce Spring Security. Currently, the latest version is a 5. 5.4 something okay and uh, I will use the latest version um, to show you the features in Spring, Secu uh, Spring Security provided for us okay and uh, uh, before uh, we actually do the codings on using Spring Security there are some prerequisites we have to know before continuing Otherwise, you probably will feel a little bit um, overwhelmed or you will probably feel uh, some of the technologies you don't know, okay? And uh, I will not introduce them. I will directly use them. So uh, this video, the main thing I want to talk about is um, before continuing on spring security some things you must know before that first thing is uh, um, java web technologies and the vo the one involved with uh, spring security is uh, filter or called a serverless filter there are many cross-cutting uh, technologies like uh, interceptor lp Aspect J filter is one of them. And uh, the reason you have to know filter is uh, I will introduce the kind of like architecture about the spring security. And uh, spring security is a filter based. You will see many filters being used in spring security. That's why you have to understand what filter is before continue. And uh, if you uh, have no idea, I suggest you watch uh, some tutorials about filter. It's not difficult to understand, okay? And um, I also has uh, videos about filters. It's inside the uh, Jakarta Servlet and GSP at a playlist. Um, you can also uh, watch mine. <laughs> Uh, next one is uh, Spring Boot. All the demos I will wrote, uh, I will write, gonna use Spring Boot, okay? Uh, because without Spring Boot, security actually is not very friendly use. So nowadays, when we create, a, when we want to using, uh, actually when we want to create a Spring project, we probably we are using Spring Boot. Okay, so all the videos I will use in Spring Boot plus Spring Security related projects. Okay, uh, next one is uh, you also need to know the basics about uh, Spring Data. And the Spring Data is built on top of uh, JPA, and the JPA we're gonna choose is uh, Hibernate. Um, because when we do authentication, uh, there are many ways. One way is we compare with in-memory username and password, but that's not the real case in reality, right? We have to compare with the username and the password uh, stored in database. So in this case, we have to have some technologies to connect to a database and fetch the user information, right? So here I choose to using Spring Data. Uh, it's gonna make our life uh, easier. Otherwise, you have to write those uh, queries by yourself. If you don't understand, then uh, you must uh, um, change the repository by yourself. Okay, and the database I will use the in memory in memory database, which is H two. Because sometimes when we install uh, like MySQL or other database locally, sometimes uh, with Spring Boot is easier. But uh, if, 
if we cannot connect to database successfully, you probably spend lots of time on troubleshooting the connection. And with in-memory database, uh, it's going to be much easier for us. And we still get the benefits of using uh, UI to access our uh, database, tables, columns, and records. So we have everything using email database and it's gonna be quickly to set up our projects, right? So that's the one. Uh, last one is uh, time leaf. Uh, time leaf is uh, uh, at the beginning, uh, it's not, not not that necessary because we can just using HTML, uh, time leaf, uh, the file extension is HTML. It's just add dynamic features on HTML, right? But uh, uh, eventually we are gonna talk about uh, authentication and authorization tags. In that case, which means we add dynamic features on top of HTML. So you need to understand how time leaf works. If you don't understand, uh, it's also, um, you have to understand, okay. <laughs> you can uh, look some online tutorials. Uh, it's not hard to understand time leaf. I also has videos about a time leaf. Okay, uh, the only uh, playlist I haven't, uh, I don't have is a Spring Data, okay? But a Spring Data is not hard to understand. Other videos, uh, other technologies, I all have videos about for them. Not very, uh, um, Future is very completed version. Time Leaf is kind of also completed. Spring Boot, uh, probably some features I didn't introduce, but uh, it's enough for the spring security okay if you uh have if you are interested and want to review you can go to my playlist uh go to my channel i have playlist about all others okay so uh that's the first video uh which is introduction about uh, spring security are you excited i'm kind of like excited i prepared this uh uh, video for actually for a very long time but uh, I just don't want to start recording and once I start recording it's gonna be fast okay um, so thank you for watching this video see you next time bye bye